the the topic is healthy soils are the basis for healthy food production my name is dr pc patel chief soil health specialist mati mati agro mart private limited bhavnagar gujarat india i did phd in soil science and i have 40 years experience at anand uh, agriculture university paru university and at present i am doing job at mati agro mart private limited bhavnagar good soil health means good human health soil health also referred to as soil quality soil testing play an important role in optimum crop production and protecting the environment the benefits of healthy soil in sustaining crop production are the most evident when growing conditions are less than ideal healthy soils are increase the capacity of crop to withstand weather variability including soil short term extreme precipitation event and intra seasonal drought why test soil health soil health can be tested by chemical test it should be chosen based on production system the basic parameters ph nutrient status phosphorus potassium and magnesium and soil organic should be tested regularly the farmers are adopting intensive farming use of high analysis fertilizers and use of very small quantity of organic matter the soil show multi nutrient deficiency at present therefore there is need to testing of soil periodically due to indiscriminate use of unbalanced fertilizer in india the multi nutrient deficiency in soil observed and you know that at present the farmers are applying plenty of fertilizer in soil but they are not getting the crop response and the main reason is that soil become dead because the farmers are applying only inorganic fertilizer and they are not applying the organic manures resulted in the microorganism population has been declined and the farmers are applying the chemical fertilizers but their fertilizer use efficiency has been declined in 1950 only one nutrient deficiency nitrogen in 1960 nitrogen and phosphorus deficiency in 19, 1970 nitrogen zinc and iron deficiency but at present 2010 and 2020 we are observing the deficiency of the nitrogen phosphorus potassium zinc iron boron etc so as food grain production increase with time the number of element become deficient in soil and crop also increase due to imbalance fertilizer use the farmers are not bother for the balancing fertilizer they are apply the fertilizer as per his wish resulted in there will be imbalance nutrition in soil so plant will take the unbalanced nutrition resulted in there will be the weak growth and there will be low crop production here you can see that i have told that the nutrient use efficiency has been declined 1970 the response ratio is 13.4 of grain per kg npk but at present to 110 it has been declined 
13.4 to 3.7 means we have to add twice and thrice fertilizer as we are applying before 1960 and 1970 so at that time means 1960 1970 the fertilizer use efficiency greater and it is only due to the soil is live at that time but we have made soil dead by applying indiscriminate use of chemical fertilizer pesticide herbicide and so on and farmers are not applying the organic manure in soil before sowing cultivation of crop in every season it is very important to check the nutrient status soil fertility is required to know if any nutrient is less deficient or more excessive or toxic then required amount necessary measure can be taken soil testing encourages healthy plant growth and development of a crop by using best fertilizer recommendation so we have to apply the nutrient test per soil test and whatever the recommendation made by the university that you should have to, have to apply in soil soil testing categorizes soil saline alkaline or mineral soils farmer can be advised to convert such soil into normal soil the crop productivity of saline and alkaline soil and acid soil is low so we have to take reclamation measure and the soil has been required to convert in normal soil for higher crop production balance use of plant nutrition application of fertilizer in optimum quantity and in right proportion through appropriate methods result in increase soil fertility and crop productivity balanced fertilizer building up soil health imbalanced fertilizer lead to soil mining and its sickness unbalanced availability of nutrients not only produce low and poor quality yield but can also lead to mining of soil nutrient reserves which result in short supply so what happen we are applying a farmers are applying unbalanced fertilizer in soil then you know that in soil there will be the synergistic effect and antagonistic effect among the nutrients suppose the phosphorus is sufficient in soil and the farmers are applying the phosphorus to the chemical fertilizers then the native or apply micronutrient like zinc and iron will not available to the plant because phosphorus and zinc or iron have antagonist effect therefore we should have to apply balanced fertilizers in soil on soil test basis we are monitoring our soil health periodically from human doctor similarly farmer have monitoring periodically before sowing of crop from agriculture doctor mean soil scientist agronomist the best place for soil water and plant analysis is sivama agri clinic and laboratory at bhavnagar gujarat india the siva lab sivama lab have the latest scientific instrument icp oec we will provide expert advice to the farmers in three languages hindi english and gujarati for improving soil health for higher crop production and improving soil fertility and soil sustainability so it is the figure of scientific instrument icp oecs machine the cost of that instrument is about 1 crore rupees and it gives accurate results and within a 90 second you can measure all the major major secondary and micronutrient and very accurately and precise results we can obtain
Pharma are required to adopt indicated nutrient management. So they have to apply manure, fertilizer, biofertilizer for improving soil health and apply nutrient in soil on soil test basis and not as per farmer wish or sell merchant of fertilizer. Because the merchant have whatever they have the fertilizer, they are recommended to the farmers. But it is not true. The farmer should have to know the which nutrient deficient in soil and accordingly they have to purchase the fertilizer from the shop and they have to apply in the soil. It is experimentally proved that when we will apply plant nutrient soil on soil test basis, then we will we will obtain definitely maximum crop production and keep soil sustainable for longer time for our next generation. Management practices for increasing soil health. So I have discussed indicated soil fertility management is very, very important. Don't apply only in organic fertilizers or organic manures, but there will be need to combination of organic manures, inorganic fertilizers, biofertilizers for obtaining higher crop production and soil sustainable for a longer time. Site specific nutrient management is very important and for that you know that soil is very important and soil is a heterogeneous mass. So we have to take the soil sample representative one and whatever the soil needs, we have feeding of crop with nutrient as and when needed. Recently, we have started soil plant disease analysis, fungi, bacteria, nematodes, at Sevam Agri Clinic, Agri Laboratory at Bhavnagar, so that farmer will take immediately plant protection measure in early stage of disease and the cost of the plant protection measure has been reduced and the farmer get more profit from their field. Sivam Agriculture Clinic and Agriculture Laboratory, Bhavnagar, Gujarat, please contact our help number 91. Six three five nine five nine five nine five nine. Therefore, farmers are requested to carry out soil analysis periodically of their field before sowing, planting of crop at reputed Seva Abma Agri Clinic and Laboratory, Bhavnagar, Gujarat, India. We have well qualified, experienced staff in the concerned field discipline: soil science, chemistry, pathology, agronomy. Please put up your value order online to the Amazon or Flipkart. Purchase our Sevama soil testing kit. We will provide your provide you complete soil water planted report at the earliest possible. Means we will supply the report to the farmer's doorstop at two to five days. So it is an example of the soil analysis and soil test report. So, we are measuring the soil pH, electric conductivity, organic carbon, major nutrient, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, secondary nutrient, calcium, magnesium, sulfur, micronutrient, zinc, iron, copper, manganese, boron, molybdenum, cobalt, chlorine, etc. Adopt different farming system for soil health. So, it is indicated farming system. We are knowing that India have more than 60 to 70 percent farmers are small and marginal farmers and the farmers are adopting agriculture plus they are keeping the animals for obtaining the higher crop income and improving nutrition. Adopt different farming system for soil health, organic farming. So we know that globally, the scientists have started more emphasis on organic farming and regenerative agriculture because 
due to indiscriminate use of chemical fertilizer pesticide fungicide herbicide the soil became dead and we want to convert into live soil for improving the crop productivity as we know that the human population has been increase rapidly and therefore we have we should have to supply the food for the increasing population of the india as well as world therefore there is need to improve the crop productivity for unitarian time and for that we should have to adopt the integrated integrated farming system then integrated nutrient management then organic farming then regenerative agriculture then natural farming etc thank you very much